Hello, our application precious coin tester has been released for a while, and we have received lots of feedbacks from our users, including some very valuable suggestions, such as to add a catalog in the application so user can choose a coin directly from the catalog. We have added it last year, and recently we have also added some check marks on certain coins that we are sure about their parameters. Uh, we have also received lots of feedbacks uh, reports and claims that saying that uh, they have got bad results uh, with their genuine coins. Uh, in fact, we found that most of these um, claims are related to a misuse of the application. We are going to summarize some common mistakes. First of all, if you want to add Enter the coin's parameters by yourself. You have to enter the finance uh, or the purity, the uh, weight uh, or the diameter. And the weight is in gram, not in ounce. So uh, if you have an um, American Eagle, Silver Eagle, it's one ounce. It, you, if you enter one here, it won't be work. It won't work because uh, the unit is in gram. So you have to enter 31.1 gram. Uh, and uh, a second notice is that uh, when we talk about press ma precious metals, for example, silver or gold, one ounce is uh, normally one troy ounce, which is 31.1 uh, gram, not 28.3 uh, mm, grams. The second one is not so common though, but uh, still some users uh, made mistakes. Uh, so you may have some gold coins or silver coins. When you test, you may switch from gold coins to silver coins, but uh, please remember to tick the correct uh, option. So if you want to, if you test a gold coin, but your silver coin is ticked, uh, you won't uh, get the expected result. Another common source of error uh, comes from the diameter, as you may have already found out, our application relies heavily on the input parameters, especially for the diameter one. If uh, you want to enter the um, parameters by yourself, please make sure that you measure the correct the, uh, the, the diameter of the coin. If you got uh, the wrong diameter, the application will not work correctly. Uh, and um, also, if you want, you, you select one coin from the catalog, um, sometimes uh, our catalog's information is not precise enough and you may get some um, parameter error as well. To measure the diameter of a coin, uh, it's better that you have a caliper at home so that you can measure it precisely. Otherwise, it will be a little bit more complicated to marry it precisely, but it's still uh, doable. So let's take a white paper and a whiteboard pen and uh, some uh, white cotton to clean afterwards. So you, uh, for example, you want, if you want to measure this silver eagle, we can use a whiteboard pen to do a mark on one side and uh, from it we can roll the coin along a line but please do not slip it so you can have one mark once on one side and the other mark on the other side and yeah, please clean it as soon as possible otherwise it will be difficult to clean it afterwards you just take a a normal ruler and you measure from the left most point to the right most point but you should take the the same position and so you measure it it measures 12.8 centimeter let's take a calculator we have got to 12.8 centimeter, that is 108 millimeter. And you have to divide it by 3.14, that is uh, the pi. And you got uh, 40.7. It's a little bit uh, larger than 40.6, uh, the official uh, diameter, but uh, 
with 0.1 millimeters difference, the uh, our application can handle it correctly. Another uh, mistake is that user instead of paying the coin, but it drops the coin. It has some sound, but uh, mostly come from uh, the desk, and it can damage more your coin as well. So the good gist is to pin your coin. How to correctly pin a coin? The application is designed to capture all the sounds generated by the coin uh, from the very beginning to the very end so that it can isolate the coin sound from the background environment so that uh, the sound capture will be more robust. For example, you have to pin one, pin one, and wait it diminishes, and then pin again. It's not a good practice to pin the coin too frequently, and the application will not distinguish the coin sound from the coin and the background noise. For example, we can add some background noise here. And uh, let's test this um, coin. If you pin it correctly, You'll get uh, three point, three start, a good, great. And if you pin it too frequently, it's got a bad. Sometimes it's got uh, not enough data. Then let's see some uh, good practice to be able to better use the application. First of all, whenever possible, please select a coin from the coin catalog. Instead of uh, putting the parameters here by yourself. Why? Because uh, the sound of a coin is majorly defined by these three parameters. However, there are some other things who can impact the sound of the coin. For example, the engraves of a coin or for non-pure silver coin or gold coin, uh, there are complementary materials. For example, we know that this coin is 90% silver, um, but the remaining 10% material can be copper or other materials as well. Sometimes the dyes that are used to strike the coin can make some difference as well. So, two coins may have the same finance weight diameter, but they can have different engraves or different complementary material, and so they may have different sound. That's why by selecting a coin for, from the catalog, we can get a better or a more precise result. For example, let's take this Silver Eagle as example. If we put parameters by ourselves. Put one forty point six. We've got a, a two star result. So if we select from the coin catalog. Eco. This is over eco. Then we get a three star result. We got a better result in using the coin from the catalog. The best way to find a coin in the catalog is to use a year and uh, to put the face value of the coin in the keyword field. 
For example, I have this coin. It's an Italian 5 lira. But if you don't know where it is from, don't worry. You put, just put the year 1871, 1871. And uh, you put, put the face value. This is a 5 lira. So you can put 5. You have to change the, of course, you have to change the region or world. Okay, you can find the five here. And you can, if you have two, you think there are too many coins to choose from, you can choose maybe I, you say, you think it's a European coin, you have fewer coins to choose, for example, five here. If you choose a coin without the check mark, if you, you can see that five lira has a check mark because we have already uh, double checked the parameter of this coin, this is precise. But if you maybe choose another coin like this and you got a bad result um, or a one star result, you may want to remember the coin, especially as a diameter. And finally, let's go back with our five liter. And uh, to pin it just uh, two or three times. And that's enough. To summarize, please pay attention to input parameters. Try to avoid incorrect weight, types, or diameter. Please do not drop the coin or pin the coin too frequently. Please select the coin from the catalog whenever possible. Please remember the coin if needed and pin the coin two or three times. Thanks for watching and hope you will enjoy our application.